Well, hello, people of this channel. I've returned after a very long, neglectful period of time. And uh, I, I'm making a video or two here, hopefully again. And uh, I noticed many new faces, many new, well, not faces, just faceless subscribers. Sheep. <laughs> Twiddling masses in my... Uh, in my inbox I've noticed uh, many questions as well which have been sitting there unanswered for many a year <laughs> possibly I'm very sorry about that and uh, I, I just can't answer everybody unfortunately I have a life you know um, but I will try and answer some some of the, <laughs> the ones that have come in in the last week uh, like this one and uh, about widescreen and YouTube as you all will know has uh, made all their videos widescreen now uh, so when you upload them you get sort of all you know these black lines around the top and the sides now to get rid of those uh, you can either stretch your video out or I guess shoot in 16.9 or something and export um, and take full advantage of it but I'll just show you for now how to how to export for, for use in uh, in this new weird widescreen screen that YouTube has now and this is at least how I do it I'm sure uh, you could find many people uh, who have done tutorials on this already in YouTube so uh, you know they could they could probably do a much less rambly version than, than this video of, of explaining it to you but this is fine so so without further ado let's uh, let's get moving okay so the first thing to do is as usual go to your file go to your, your export um, compress movie for expert settings usually we'll have that on CD-ROM or at least I will uh, so we'll take that to expert settings this time if I can pronounce it and uh, click share and you'll get your little save exported file as window and here we want to export as MPEG-4 and just hit options there get this other screen that will come up the export settings screen uh, that file format just keep that at MP4 uh, we're not going to do MP4 ISMA because well mostly because I don't know what it is uh, so therefore we stay away from it it's a rule on this uh, channel <laughs> uh, so we'll keep that on MP4 uh, sort of standard settings have been thrown in there for you. You want to change that data rate to, God, uh, at least, I don't know, we'll do 1600, at least about sort of 1500 to 2000. Uh, image size you'll change to 1280 by 720 HD. And uh, frame rate, I've, I've usually left it, I think, but. Um, I don't think it could hurt to bring it up to 30 frames a second. That would probably work. Everything else, just leave. Um, maybe go to audio if you want to increase the, the data rate on that. It's up to you. I'll go to 224 or 192. And just hit OK. That is pretty much it. And, you know, that should be... It should be good enough to upload to YouTube and uh, just hit save and that will probably take a bit longer to compress than you used to if you if you get a slower machine like my old G4 Quicksilver here it's a jolly old machine that's been plugging away um, if I had better equipment you would be seeing you know possibly better videos on this channel but since I don't um, you know we're, we're working with old iMovie old Final Cut, old everything. I don't have uh, many questions I get asking me about Final Cut Pro 5 and and uh, multicam and you know all this stuff. I don't have the gear unfortunately. I'm working with old school stuff here. Um, thank you for watching and uh, I hope that uh, you all have a very merry 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 Christmas. <laughs> and. Uh, in your respective, you know, continents. 
see you later.